This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. All right. I'm feeling like there is some sense of wanting to embark on something new, possibly something that actually may mean physically moving, but that there's some hesitation and that hesitation has to do with worrying that it's maybe a rash decision and worrying that you haven't done enough planning so some of that is going to be financial and you may notice a tail in the top right corner um, so just disregard that or enjoy it if you like cats <laughs> um, so the five of pentacles coming up there in line with all these pages which to me are coming up as these concerns regard in regard to the decision itself it can also just be about a change it doesn't necessarily have to be an actual move but it feels like some of that worry comes from financial reasoning but also and this is kind of similar to that Aries reading also like worrying about leaving behind something that makes you feel more stable that has given you support in the past it can also be about a person so this could definitely be in regard to a relationship I do also feel that this new prospect of a relationship a journey a job a new beginning is very creative in nature so it could be that the person is creative could be an Aries or another fire sign or the job itself something that you're wanting to start anew with could very well be something creative something even spiritual in nature something that requires a lot of energy being built towards it and like constantly feeding it to nurture it to really get you somewhere and I do feel that you have what it takes to get you there but you're I think that one of your major concerns is that you don't that's something that's coming up with this nine of wands and then the page of wands or rods and it's interesting because the nine of wands is looking back at this emperor card which is also to me again could be about a person could be about an Aries or another fire sign even but it could also be just about something that was established previous that um, previous to this that makes you feel grounded makes you feel comfortable so while you're feeling these sparks and this this sense of possibly wanting to move forward I do feel that there's a little bit of holding back and a, a, some conflict within you about going forward because of whatever this thing is from the past person a relationship an old job that makes you feel again comfortable and, and like I just get the sense that part of you feels like it may be a good decision to hold on to that it, it seems rational it seems smart and like the logical thing to do and again with this page of swords I feel like you're a little worried about poor planning and that's that that really organized grounded sense side of you but you have this creative side that is just crying out for you to nurture it and with the ten of wands coming up it, it, it almost feels like there's that abundance there with the number ten but that if you don't nurture it it's, it's just going to feel like this heavy load instead of an abundance a source of abundance and what would create that and this is on the bottom of the deck by the way I don't know if I mentioned that but what would create that feeling of, of this burden again is is not nurturing that that creativity that desire it could just be a passion or a desire for um, this job or work or a person a relationship if you ignore it it's it's not gonna go away it's only gonna feel heavier it's gonna feel like it is weighing you down and constantly bothering you until you feed that that flame 
So most of the energy does feel like you're, you're being encouraged to, yes, do some planning, yes, do maybe a little more thinking, but kind of embrace the Six of Swords energy of making the transition regardless. I feel like this Queen of Rods is, is about you and that creative side that you're being encouraged to nurture. I get the sense that you maybe have not been so happy in, although comfortable, not so happy, and that what lies ahead, if you embrace it, is something that could make you feel shinier and happier, like all of the bright yellow in this card and the sunflower just like turning towards the sun, feeling hopeful again. I get the sense that some of you have been, have been losing that a bit, especially with the Nine of Wands, which, which can feel like you can't quite cross the finish line sort of feeling. And again, with it looking back, looking backward over this thing established in the past, whatever that might be, or a person, I feel like it's, it's holding back your ability to access freedom in a sense too. I'm just seeing that eagle and it's, it's really speaking out to me. Um, I get the sense that this, this, this thing from the past is really just growing heavier. And so that could be where some of the Ten of Wands is coming in too. That the feeling that once felt like it was something comfortable actually may be more of, well, a burden or grow to be that if, if you continue to make a decision based on how comfortable something feels. Okay. So I wanna look at this column with the Five of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Six of Swords together. I get the sense again that you may not be completely confident in your ability to take on whatever this is, this new journey, this new desire. And that is where some of this desire to implement more, more decision making is coming in. And that it also feels like there may be some sort of, I'm, I'm picking up on some arguing or competitiveness happening with this Five of Wands. I also feel that that's linked to the Ten of Wands, like that's becoming kind of a burden to you too. So it may be for some of you that it's others' voices that are dampening your confidence a bit. It may not even entirely be you. Because I feel that you are, you're that bull, you're, you have that drive to move forward and you do like planning, you do like to have things in place and organized to a certain degree, but you you have that, that forward drive within you. And so it feels like these five of wands may be some other people kind of holding you back in some regard or taking away your confidence, trying to, trying to take away your confidence. It could also be, I, I feel that for some of you, because this may be a big transition, you may have been recently seeking the advice of multiple people to get a feel for how to handle things better, which it's like that sparked, that was sparked by your, some lack of confidence in you and with the goal of helping to ease that and helping to make the decision, but ultimately it ended up sort of aggravating that small amount of lack of confidence that you may have. It may be some, it may be larger in some of you, but it aggravated it a bit because it was like too many cooks in the kitchen, too many opinions, not really helping you feel like you got any advice that was similar enough or that resonated enough with whatever this this challenge is that you're facing most likely regarding a change in your life
Um, and, and I'm seeing the two corners with the Five of Wands and the Four of Swords as kind of complementing each other in a way because while there may be some lack of movement right now, you, I don't feel like you've quite gotten to the Six of Swords, though I do feel like that's in store for you. That's that movement forward. Right now, I feel like it's more you're at the Four of Swords, some of it because of whatever that Five of Wands conflict is. And the good message with the Four of Swords is that I think it's okay for you to take some more time to quietly contemplate again, organize your thoughts, decide which which of those swords, so which of which of those swords you want on this boat with you, essentially, which things you think are good plans, which are not, but it does feel like that's something you'd rather do solo, that it's better for you to do solo, rather than inquiring or asking too many opinions from others. Because for some of you, those of you who may have been doing that, it does feel like it It just made it more complicated, caused a little bit of chaos. And finally, I want to look at why the Page of, of Wands is in the center here, because the center card is usually quite important. I do feel like it's really the two pages together in, in this particular reading, side by side there, that are one of the major themes. It's going to be the, the wands energy that's stronger because it is in the center. But again, I, I do feel like that has to do with, it's like this feeling that there is this, this passion in you, this drive, this creativity, this new uh, spiritual inkling it could be that is really wanting to have more, have its uh, flames and just to grow more but that there is a doubt there's a sense of doubt in you that you will be able to do that that you'll be able to continue to build that fire and then there's also this doubt in you again about proper planning and I think that the the wands is in the center because ultimately I think what's going to actually make you feel confident enough in your decision making and your ability to plan is not going to be a swords energy. It's not really going to be that mental space. Although with the four of swords, you are being encouraged to go into that space a little bit more because it makes you feel comfortable to have some more of those plans in place. I feel like ultimately it's going to be that spark itself, the passion itself that that's going to really ignite this process of moving forward and make you feel confident in your decision making. Because I feel like something is going to come about that like a confirmation, a sign about whatever that spark is, that, that passion, that desire that you have for something new, there's going to be something that comes about, it feels like, that's really going to strengthen it, confirm it for you, something in that realm. And ultimately, I feel like that will, that will help you to gain more confidence and make a decision to move forward, to, to shift from this page into this queen, this more established, she's embraced that create that creativity more, that spark, and knows how to wield it, and knows how to steadily like stoke those flames and, and keep the fire burning. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Okay, thank you.